Alrighty everyone, what's going on? My name is The Clinkster and welcome on back to another episode of Lego Dimensions. Yes, we did. We're almost toast too. You cut that pretty close, Expo. Um, um, speaking of cutting, uh, perhaps a slice of it's not for eating. No cake for you. <laughs> I am Gandalf the Grey. Yes, you are Gandalf. Uh, we never doubted that. So I don't know why you had to assert yourself, but let us hop right back into and see where we are. Heading to next. Uh, boy, I've gone this wrong every time, but I'm gonna guess. Oh boy, where haven't we been? Um, the no, the Lego Movie. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is of course Lord of the Rings. Whoa, what's the Riddler doing here? Okay. Uh, what are you doing here? Thank you, friend. This is ministerial of uh. Lord of the Rings, no and of course, it's quite the riddle. I'm <laughs> pretty much a super fan of Lord of the Rings, so I know a lot about it. It's not fair. Does the riddles. Aww. <laughs> Which is why I was immediately able to tell where we were. Holy riddle. Minos Tirith, the White City. We are in Middle Earth. Do you mean Middle Zealand? No, I have good news. We will be welcome here. Are you sure about that? So certain. Orcs, but how? Oh dear, that's not good. All right, uh, we have Welcome. our Joker mobile, and oh god! I hope you remember to pack your brain. Fail my riddles. And... Hey, <laughs> what has occurred? Why do orcs dare to walk this ground so freely? Exactly. No, but, uh, I am a little confused, because, okay, like, the future levels we're going on is to find all the foundation elements. Uh, so we can find our friends again. A.K.A. Uh, Metalbeard, uh, Robin, and Frodo. But I thought the One Ring was the foundational element for Lord of the Rings. It, like... What could we possibly be doing here? Like, that's my, I guess, question right now. As, like, what? Like, are we going to try and find the one ring here? But we know Frodo had it uh, from the first part. So, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of confused. But uh, uh, if you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Uh, so you can uh, correct my misunderstanding. Because I, I bet I'm just... M misunderstanding something here, but anyways, please let me know in the comment section uh, below. All right, what do we have here? Uh, we have a grappling hook for Mr. Basso. All right, that is gonna give us. Is that an acceleration switch? I believe it is. Okay, Batman. Hey, Batman! Come on, buddy! Let's... Come on, Batman! Let's go! Sweet. And of course, since we upgraded the Joker Mobile, uh, or at least that's what I'm calling this thing, <laughs> uh, we have instant acceleration switches, which as soon as the thing goes on there, it completes itself, so no need to worry about that. Oh, there's a minikin inside there. Sweet. Alright, um, let's see, what do we have with the shift keystone? Shift! Shift for me, please! Alright, come on! <laughs> please work, shift keystone. Alright, the keypad is, where, yeah, the keypad is getting brighter. And hence, we found our dimensional rift. Oh my god. A giant turret. Perfect. I was not expecting something this big. But uh I'm not against it. Oh my god, that's a lot of orcs. But uh this is from uh the Portal 2 uh dimension, which we were just at on the last level or the last part of the walkthrough. If you guys missed that out, go ahead and check it out. It's probably my my uh favorite level up until now. Need to get that turret back online. 
It's our key to getting in. Why you do this for sure, man? I love that thing. All right. Oh, so we can put out the water. Okay, sweet. This is excellent. Of course, we could use someone like Aquaman to do this for us, but obviously we're supposed to be doing this using these characters because, well, the game is giving us the means to do it. Hello. Ooh, we have a master build with wild style. Wait, can we do it when we're in a water bubble thing? Uh, looks like we can. Excellent. Holy. Okay, we just made it so much more badass. All right, let's head back. Oh. Come on, wild stallion! Oh, please work with me here. Yeah, please work with me. All right, perfect. Whoa, is that a crusty burger sign there? That's awesome. All right, come on, destroy at will, fire at will, bam, boom, bam, boom, 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 boom. Let's go, fire at will. Excellent. All right, no, die. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let us make our way inside. Where would be the fun in just letting you up here? I uh, like I mean, we get to defeat you easier. Uh, okay. I mean, I'd rather you didn't, but okay, dude. <laughs> okay, Mr. Edward Nigma. Edward Nigma, which of course is the alter ego of the Riddler. Alright, there is a bunch of studs here, so don't miss out. Now, we do have our times 8 multiplier, so, uh, that is why our this stud count's so high. We should follow it. Turn it off. That is actually a good idea, okay? Enough, I didn't think of that. But, um, if you want to know what our actual stud count is, just, uh, just divide what our stud count is now by 8, and you'll have a idea of what our, the actual amount of studs we planted is. It's definitely uh, less than a hundred thousand, but it is above uh, fifty thousand. Using my math brain, yeah. All right, so uh, ooh, there's another one of these question mark things up here. That's five out of five, and now there's gonna be our second mini kitch. Awesome. Let's see. Uh, do we have anyone who can spit through these short things? Let's see who can do it. Golem can do it. Slimer, Gizmo, E.T. All right, we have a I wealth of characters. No idea what to do with this. So of course that means we're obviously gonna choose Mr. Gizmo. Hello, Gizmo. Do, do, do. I don't even think we've seen this character before. So yes, Gizmo from the Gremlins is in the game, and that's us kit number three. No. Oh. All right, Gizmo. Yay! Wait, what happens if you like use Aquaman to spray water on Gizmo? Uh, okay, if anyone knows in the comment section below, please let me know. Because that would sound kind of amazing to do it, but um, Aquaman is kind of like way off to the side from where I am. So I don't really have direct access to him, or else I would do it for right here. Alright, ooh, we need the target. Alright, got it. And we're gonna take it off. All right, ooh, that was a pretty quick uh, loading screen. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, Gizmo, uh, what do we have going for us here? Ooh, but I tell you what I do here. Oh, you need some help here, yo. Good thing uh, here. Aquaman, do we have anyone else? Beast Boy can do it. All right, so I'll let you listen to this music for a few seconds, and then I'll tell you guys what it is. Alright, you're in the shambles. Thank you. Oh dear, what are you gonna do? Uh, T Rex, please Whoa, don't hurt me. Oh, wait, do they count as mythological creatures? Oh man, I don't know if I could turn into those. Uh, that smell you're smelling? That's pretty much victory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've tried to let you guys listen to that music as much as possible without talking, but that is the 11th Doctor's theme song. 
So we're obviously somewhere in the Doctor Who universe. Which I gotta say, this music score is awesome. I literally, like, uh, back in high school when, uh, my place. uh, when Matt an Smith was the doctor. Cosmic swirl where every light casts a dark shadow that reflects my soul is my game. Okay, Raven. I didn't need you to get all philosophical on me. Not to solve. That is the question. No, but, uh, back when Matt Smith was the doctor in high school, I literally downloaded this song as a ringtone on my phone, and I still have it as a ringtone on my phone. Like, that's how much I love this score. I absolutely love it. Alright. Oh god, okay. Um Alright, let's use Vlad style. Perfect. And Yay, we're gonna do this next. Wow, hey. Is the Robin in your dimension obsessed with planning stuff too? <laughs> Alright, uh, do you have anything that- no? Okay. Cause so far the only person that we know can interact with these things, uh, with, with the battering switches is, uh, Wonder Woman and, uh, Batman. So I- so- so I just wanna know if there's anyone in our group that could- Interact with it, but it does not seem to be the case. There they are. They've stolen a dinosaur. Oh my god, Matt Smith on the dinosaur. Oh wow, okay, I actually remember what episode uh, this is from. Actually, if you're a fan of Doctor Who, let me know in the comment section of uh, which episode this, uh, this little room that we're exploring is from. Because I'd be interested to know, of those of you that are watching this video that are Doctor Who fans, how many of you were able to re recognize, like, I guess, like, what room we're in? If, uh, that makes any sense. Alright, Raven, I need you to power this you up. Come on, Raven, let's go. Power this you up, bingo. Alright, is that gonna do something? Oh my, do that smile is freaky. Sometimes. It's just very painful. <laughs> Alright, uh, that is six mini kits out of ten. We're making quite the good progress today. Alright, any of these? E.T. can do it. Yeah, why don't we summon in it? him in? <gasps> Mr. E.T. Come on. Sorry, Gizmo. Hey, JG. And you're gonna fix this up for us, Mr. E.T. And wow! Oh yes, we got the blue studs. Awesome. That is quite excellent. E.T. Phone Batman. Whoa! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? So that was a unique dialogue line between E.T. and Batman. That is absolutely awesome. All right, no. Who, who can do this? Benny Cyborg, Cyborg, Doc Brown, Ethan Hunt, blah blah blah. Um... Man, I was really hoping ET could do this. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, but Beast Boy, you're gonna have to go away. Oh my God. All right, Ethan Hunt. Here, let me take pity on you. Uh, no, we're not going to the level. No, we're doing this Lord of the Rings level right now. And boom, boom, boom. Of course, Ethan Hunt is from the, um, uh, the mission in... Well, I, I almost said the impossible mission. No, he's from the mission impossible dimension. I was hoping we might work together. Alright, so do we have anything else to explore in this area? Because I feel like we've explored a pretty good amount. There's always some studs that we can smash and bash. With the benefit of humanity, of course. Uh, okay. Do we need, like, a thing that can cut through vines? Because I think I know the perfect character for the art. And that is gonna be the one. The only. Excalibur! The Batman! Abort. I am the Dark Knight, or the... 
Oh, 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 what? You have a sword! How can you not cut through the vines? Whoa, oh my gosh, are you serious? How do you not have the ability? Oh my god. Alright, sorry. I was really excited about using Excalibur Batman, but now we're not going to be able to. <laughs> I really thought, like, he has a sword that should be able to cut through. Alright, Finn. Finn the human. And Jake the hero. Alright, bam! Slash him, dash. Alright. Hit that lever. And what do we have here? Hey, you got an animal hat too. Is he talking to E.T.? Such a weird comment, Finn. That is such a weird comment. Or maybe he's talking about a uh, Gandalf hat. Which, I mean, that made more sense, but like, what? So weird. Such a weird comment. Ooh, there's a blue stuff we can collect. Alright, what do we have to do? Um, so we have to. Oh, we have to stun 18 Velociraptors. Ah, oh, get out of here. Speaking of, uh, do you guys actually know in anything about, um, uh, archaeology and paleontology, you know that these dinosaurs are too big to be velociraptors because velociraptors, uh, in actuality, the actual velociraptor dinosaur was, um, was only about three feet tall, so it'd only go up to about your knee or hip, uh, depending on how tall you are and, and how tall the velociraptor is, I guess, but, uh, Everyone just thinks Velociraptors are human height because of the movie Jurassic Park. In case you didn't know that. Whereas in the movie, uh, what would most closely resemble the Velociraptors we see in the Jurassic Park movie, it's Minikit number 7 by the way, would be the uh, Euthoraptor, which if you want to uh, Google it up, it is spelled like Utah Raptor, but it's pronounced Euthoraptor. Spelled U T A H R A P T O R. So if you wanted to uh, do a quick little Google search to see what I'm talking oh, about, you will right? gladly see that I know what I'm talking about because I am a huge. Uh, oh my God, the TARDIS! <laughs> what are you doing? No, uh, I'm a huge uh, paleontology and uh, dinosaur and prehistoric animal uh, nerd, as it were. All right, so we're traveling back to. Uh, the Lord of the Rings Dimension. Alright, so we already have seven mini kids collect. So we've done a lot, a lot of collecting. So we can now focus more on the story component. So that is what we shall be doing. Surprised to see me. After you left, I decided that uh, you are going yes. to run from How do you have this power, I'm Glados? Just going to have to bring my test to you. Enjoy. So, I guess my welcome party wasn't to your liking. Can we deny the test? Oh, well. I, I don't so, really want to take him. All right, we can remove the TARDIS. This is cast. Uh, it's just taking up space. It flees from light. The dark is home. Uh, flees from light. The dark is home. That's a shadow, isn't it? I think it is. Holy what a combo. Alright, so the first riddle we just solved was a shadow. Is the Robin in your dimension obsessed with planning stuff too? Alright, get out of here. Thank you. Oh god, move. Alright, what do we have here? It's Boromir! Uh jet switches. Police car, Benny Spaceship, the Eagle Interceptor. Ooh, the TARDIS can do it. Okay. Uh, sorry, TARDIS, I know we just despawned you, but we're gonna need you. Uh, real quick, yeah. Okay. Alright, come on. And we're gonna power it up. Alright, so I'm just pressing uh, forward on the, on the left analog stick that you usually use to walk around in a LEGO game. So. All right, Boromir, let's go. We shaved you, my friend. All right, so, whoa, blue shot alert. All right, Ethan Hunt, do you still? No, we don't have him on the table anymore. All right, 
Um. Can you please spawn? Uh, why are you not spawning? <laughs> For the love of God, spawn. There you go. Cyberman, thank you for listening. Ethan Hunt would not respond. So I just put you in instead. All right. Ooh, is this going to be a mini kit? I sure hope so. That would be quite amazing to see. What I am? Oh, come on. There we go. This indicates this will be of use. Excellent. It is of use. Alright, so that's eight mini kits and Vormir save from Peril. So we only have two more collectibles and two more mini kits. To unlock for this level. So we're gonna be doing a lot of story components in uh, the next episode, because we're already right around 21 minutes. Oh god, okay. Let's hurry it up. Um let's see, what do we have here? Uh, okay, we can shrink Raven. We can climb up here. Uh, then we can put you back at normal size, or big size, I guess. Wow, Later. Sorry, I walked out, and we can go down here, and, ooh, okay, so that gets rid of the toxic gas, okay. Let's do this. So, um, what is next? Because I'm confused, like, okay, what is this? Oh, hello. Excellent, excellent. And then do we just get one of our uh, friends to... What does that do? Ooh, okay. No, come on, just... Raven. All right. Come on, Raven. Let's do this. All right. So we're gonna throw that there. So basically, we need to. Or what I'm hoping that we need to be doing. Is the Robin in your dimension obsessed with planning stuff too? Uh, is. So what I think we're supposed to be doing is. So we need to build this apparatus so we can climb inside it and get to the top. Now, of course, as Raven, we we could just uh fly up there. But, uh, you know, that take away from all the fun of the puzzle solving. So I'm trying to just take away from flying because, well, what the designers imagine when you're solving these puzzles is that uh, you only have access to Batman Wild Style and Gandalf because uh, Raven is actually an add-on character that you have to pay money to get. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to show in case there's anyone well, who's using my walkthrough is how to actually solve two levels. That would be how you would do it. Alright, press that diva. And that deconnects it. Interesting. Alright, so it looks like we can move onwards and forwards. Oh, okay. I guess we can't go back in there. And, ooh, yeah, okay. So we need to do. So we need to turn off that lever at all in two other locations. Okay, well, uh, we are right around the midway, uh, we're not midway point, uh, we're right around 25 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day, and I'll see you guys in the next part.